Um, we've met much success, and in 2011 in particular, we've managed to register over 10,000 children in particular um, in three districts, in Corozal, in Stan Creek, and in Toledo districts. Basically, we find that um, up to 10 to 15% in some areas of children are unregistered. There are many, many bottlenecks why children are not registered. In many instances, for example, in Toledo, the issue has to do with distance. Um, the system is literally centralized still, and so main registration points are found primarily in urban areas. And so you find in districts where there are many rural communities, a big issue is distance to actually come to register children. Um, another problem, which is now alleviated, um, was cost. There was a cost to actually completing a late registration. And so a lot of parents couldn't find the money, sometimes up to $56. And therefore, parents wouldn't come out to register their children. One of the things that um, happened, one improvement a couple years ago was that they actually placed a registrar in the actual hospitals to try to make sure that parents register their children before leaving the hospital. This has been pretty successful in terms of ensuring that babies are registered before leaving the hospital. Where we face challenges is the significant number of children that are not born, born in hospitals. We still have many children that are born um, at homes or in communities attended to by traditional birth attendants. And then this is a different process in terms of registering the children and we find that a lot of parents are not aware of what are the steps to be taken in order to register a child that is born within the community. So a lot of the work we focus on currently is actually in the communities, in rural areas, trying to ensure that systems are put in place to facilitate registration of children in those areas. There are many ways in which not being registered affects a child. Um, to begin with, in terms of identity, the fact that they have no identity. But as they get older and there is need to access services, like currently you will know that NHI, for example, is rolled out in several districts. In order to access the NHI services, you need a social security card. In order to get a social security card, you need a birth certificate. And so not being registered means that children cannot access some of the basic services that are available to them at this moment, like health services. We have some schools that don't accept children who don't show up with a certificate.